so the RF chamber uh, or radio frequency chamber as it's called is is used to put a device under test in the box and actually block out any outside radio frequencies from getting in the box or getting to the device under test. During product development of wireless devices, which is design, uh, development and testing, those RF chambers are needed to create different test scenarios and test the devices before being shipped out to the customer. In, in real life, not all customers have the same RF signal conditions at their homes. Uh, some have excellent, some have medium, some have... So we try to simulate all those conditions and see how the radio behaves. And part of what we do for that testing is to validate the signal strength. As an example, some of our test requirements include a cell radio with no cell tower attachment. And we can put it in this box, close the lid on the box, and the radio cannot connect to the tower. We want to make sure that the product first behaves accordingly in all those conditions. And the other, also very important to the customer, we want to prevent an installation that is pending a failure because of RF. Our objective at ADT is to provide products to customers and those products should work as designed. In this case, the RF chamber is a necessity. It's a required tool for us to make sure the product during its development and testing that it's actually and meets the designed requirements. And also, it helps us install the product properly and have the product operate properly after installation. And this way, the customer is satisfied.